Hi, this is Sue, your director, and I just want to do a Zoom training so that you will see how you create a group on Facebook. So first of all, you're going to be on your Facebook and you're going to create, um, you're going to go to your home screen and you're going to go down to groups or you can come up to the corner. Now it says create, that's new, and you can create a group. So you're going to go into here and it's going to say name your group. And so we're going to call this the Incredibles, which is our team training, Incredibles uh, training group page for post my party templates. T-L-E-M-P. And then you need to add somebody to the group when you start a group. So I'm going to add Carrie to it since we are on this as well. And I'm going to pin the group to the top of my Facebook page. And the reason I'm doing that is I want it to show up at the top left hand side of my groups here so that I can get to it easily. And then you're going to upload what is called a banner page or a cover page and you want it to be something about your topic. So if you're doing a Facebook party, there's all kinds of um, Facebook banners. So this is going to be a, train, uh, a team training page. So um, I wanna find a banner that would be related to that. So hold on, how about, Something like this. Well, let's find a better one. One sec. Pictures, banners. Always keep things in files. That makes it easier for you to find later. There's some team banners. Um, Okay, so we're going to save that. Now that you have that, you can put a description over in the about section of a group. So we're going to tell people, if it is a show, you're going to say, welcome to Carrie's virtual pampered chef party. On this party, you will see videos, recipes, games, and you're going to tell them. You're going to put the show link to ordering in there. You're going to put your contact information in there. For this, um, this page is for running training templates. It's running templates the same way. Templates um, and other training from post my party without. flooding our team page. Uh, watch for events to be created in the team page when these will run. Questions? Text or call soon? The information is there. Now we're going to go to post my party. And we are going to go to um, parties that are currently listed. I'm going to delete this one, which is scheduled to run on our team page, and I will show you. I have templates that are already made up. I have tons and tons and tons of templates, different months, different topics, different trainings. These trainings can run into my VIP page. So here are game day ideas. So this I would probably run. This is all about um, different recipes. So this will run for 10 days. And I think this would be really great because the Patriots have made the playoffs. So we can take this template and I can share this template right here with Carrie by copying this link and sending it to her. Or I can go in under parties and I can actually schedule. So we're gonna go ahead and I am going to schedule two different templates.
the first template we're going to schedule is going to go into that new group that we just created. So first it says, what is the template? And because it's January, we're going to look up taxes. And so I have a tax help virtual party event that runs for half an hour. It is a personal Facebook group, not on my business page that we're running it into. And then it's asking me, what is the name of the group you're running it into? So I'm going to go down to the Incredibles. And you want to specify as clearly as you can when you are making group names, what it is so you can find it later. Don't just say um, virtual party because then you're not going to know whose party you're in. So make sure that you give it enough of a description that you can find that party from other parties later. Then it's going to ask you, what day do you want to start scheduling this party? Well, this one I want to start tonight. And what is my time zone? I live on the East Coast, so I am in the Eastern time zone. If you've created templates that are generic, but for your host's parties, you can create templates where they have what are called tokens. Tokens are places where in your template you might say, remember, if you want carry, and you're gonna write the word carry out, but then you're gonna put, um, instead of Carrie's name, you're gonna put a bracket, not a parenthesis, a bracket, the word host, and a bracket. So that in your template, it's gonna say, so remember, if you want bracket, host bracket, and then it'll populate whichever name I put in here. So I can use the same template for seven different shows, all running at the exact same time, and on each show, it's going to put in Carrie, Samantha, John, Fred. It's gonna put the right hostess's name in wherever I tell it the word bracket, host bracket. I'm also going to remind them during the show, hey, don't forget, if you want bracket host bracket to receive credit for your show, make sure that you use this link, bracket, link, bracket, and then the specific link to their show will populate there. And you get that link from the Pampered Chef website, and um, that is under the show page, and I'll show you how to do that. Then the last token, I use the word text for my website. And in my templates, I'll say things like, if you would like more recipes like this one below, be sure to visit my website, bracket, text, bracket. And every time I have that, my website populates that post. So you can use the same template again and again um, without worrying about whether it's personalized. Now, once you have scheduled all of these posts to go, so this is a seven o'clock, it's a reminder, 7.30, another reminder, and at eight o'clock, 8.02, 8.04, 8.06, I'm going to be posting all kinds of just little ideas about tax time. Now, if this was a actual virtual party that I was running for a guest, you don't wanna run the same template every single time at the exact same time or you'll end up in Facebook jail. So Post My Party allows you to adjust the time of the show. So I can adjust this by one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 15, 30, one hour, and two hour in either direction. So I can run the same template on the exact same day for 10 different hostesses. Not that I think that I'll have 10 running on the same day, but you could and you won't end up in Facebook jail because the same post won't be happening at the exact same time. So you can do an adjustment that way. So I will put it so that it's an adjustment and then I'll say go, and then you'll notice the time changed by one minute all the way through, 801, 803, 805. So it's important um, that you understand how that works and we'll go over more information about um, that later.